Hello there. Uh, welcome back to the level uh, mathematical literacy. So we are going to look at our paper one. Uh, that is uh, paper one from the Eastern Cape uh, province. So uh, this is a question paper of November uh, 2022. So uh, we move on to uh, the uh, first question that we have in that question paper. I would read the study. Miss Jane Bukin uh, uh, was a pay slip for the month of October 2021, shown uh, below and answer the questions that follow. So uh, this is this is uh, this is the information that we are given that you need to go through uh, before you attempt to answer the question. So of course, uh, the first part of our question is write right down Miss Jane's book was occupation. So we go back to the uh, information that we are given uh, in the pay slip to try to check the occupation. Uh, but uh, if you try to come with this point, you see that we have got an occupation as stated. And uh, it is click or cashier. So in response uh, to the first part, which is 1.1.1, .1 uh, we are saying uh, cashier. So it's cashier or click uh, is indicated. So um, calculate here total deductions is the second question that we have. So of course, I uh, will see that we have got our deductions uh, on this part. So it means uh, we are going to add our 650. Uh, and then also we have got the payee, uh, which is 774. Uh, and of course, uh, we also have our uh, UIF is calculated. You see that is 61 rand, uh, which is not as clear, but uh, the figure that we have here is 61 rand, uh, 25 cents. So in our calculations, uh, we are seeing uh, 650 rands. And then we add our 774. Uh, we add our 61 runs, uh, uh, 25 cents. Uh, we see that the answer that we are supposed to get uh, after adding is going to be 1,485 runs. 1,485 runs, uh, 25 cents. Then moving on to 1.1.3, show by means of calculations how the overtime payment amount of 1,125 was uh, determined. So we see that we have put an overtime uh, is indicated on this part, which is 1,100 uh, in So uh, obviously it's calculated by saying the overtime hours plus overtime rate, put five times at 25 rand. So uh, we are saying, uh, what five and then you multiply by uh, by 25 rand and obviously if you calculate the two you're going to get 1125 so we have indicated how it was uh, how it was calculated so up uh, on the next part we have to define uh, the term net pay so of course uh Know that net pay we get it by saying um the salary uh the cost that we have for the salary minus uh, the total deductions so we are saying uh net pay uh will be the amount received by employees so we'll check in terms of our because I could check the question is saying uh, to the above context, so you if you come here, you'd see that uh, uh, we are seeing uh, the amount received uh, by uh, by the employee, and then uh, we it will be the amount that will be received after a uh, subtracting total deductions. So is that if you have if you now subtract the total deductions from the amount that has been uh, total amount received, you get your uh, net pay. So uh, that is uh, what we have. Or in other words, uh, we if we put it in writing, we are saying net pay is the amount uh, net pay is the amount received by employee
after subtracting total deductions. So uh, because this is a brief a description that we can um, get. So obviously, this amount we say we subtract to the deductions are from your gross income. So basically, this is the description of net pay. So um, one point one point five means uh, calculate the amount to be added to Jane Okiro's basic salary if the basic salary is increased by seven point five percent uh, for November twenty twenty one. So we try to check uh, the the amount for basic salary that we have. Uh, so you see that uh, basic salary we are giving we need is five thousand. So um, with that five thousand, uh, we now see. The 7.5 percent that we are given as a percentage times 5,000 we get at the amount to be added to James Bugiros Bexar. So um 1.1.5. We are saying 7.5 percent, and then we multiply by 5,000. And of course, uh 7.5 uh, percent. Uh, it is 7.5 over 100, and then you multiply by 5,000. So uh, we do calculate that and see what we get. And you see that if you multiply, you're going to get 375. So this is the amount to be added. So basically, this is what we have on now. 1.1.5. And of course, we move on to the next question. 1.2. Grade 11 mathematical literacy learners are wrote a test marked out of 50 marks. Their results are displayed on the graph below, showing uh, the distribution of marks. So with the information given, uh, we need to respond uh, to uh, that information according to uh, the questions. So 1.2.1, name the type of graph used to display the data of results. So that this graph is got bars that are continuous, uh, which represents a histogram. So we have histogram. Here's our correct answer there. Then on the second part, determine the number of learners that wrote the test. So if you come here, you see that those that we put is, um, 0 to 5, uh, we have got 30. And then uh, 6 to 10, we have got 25. So we have them as indicated. So we are saying... 30 on this part, and then uh, on this part we have got 25, and then we have got 40. Uh, on this part is 35, and then we have got 25 again here, and then if you check here, we've got 20, uh, 15 on uh, 31 to 35, and then we have got 10, uh, 10, and 5. So uh, these are the number of letters that we have in each and every mark range. So to get now the total, uh, to get the total, we are now adding uh, your, your 30 uh, plus 25 uh, plus 40 plus 35 plus 25 plus 20 plus 15 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5. And obviously, if you add uh, the total that you are supposed to get is 215. So this becomes your answer on that part. And then you go to how many letters scored within the model class. So the model class is, remember these are the classes that we have 0 to 5, 6 to 10 are classes up to 46 to 50. So the model is the one which has scored uh, the highest uh, number uh, of uh, students, which is 40. So the question is asking how many letters scored within the model class. So uh, we are seeing that is in the uh, mark range 11 to 15 with 40 learners. Uh, with 40 learners is indicated. So we have got 40. Then on 1.2.4, calculate the marks out of 50 for a learner that obtained 68% in the test. So obviously it's going to be 68% of 
50 to get the mark. So basically we're saying 68% times are 50. So remember 68% is 68 uh, over 100, then multiply by 50. So we, we multiply there, uh, you see that the answer that we are supposed to get uh, is state four marks. So we have state four, Uh, the format is our final answer on that part. So this is what we have on our question 1.2 points are four. Moving on to question two, it reads, Aunt Lewis, an educator, compares the patient fund estimations for the year 2021 and 2022. She wants to resign at the end of 2022. Start the information below and answer the questions that follow. So we are given a normal retirement uh, estimated uh, at 12.2 in 12.1. So uh, believe that the first question that we have uh, is uh, write down the value of the lump sum payable to the beneficiaries in 2021. So we see that the description of uh, payable to beneficiaries, we have it in this part. Then 12.1, we've got the column for 12.1, which means the amount that is uh, being asked is uh, this amount, which is 2,470,000. Uh, 783. So, basically, this is uh, what we have 2.1.1. So, we are going to uh, have our figure S. Two million. Uh, 470,783. Then, um, 2.1.2, the, the resignation benefit for the year 2021 is 166,417 less than 2.2 benefit. So uh, calculate the resignation amount for the year 2021. So basically these are the figures that we are going to work within. So um, on our calculation, uh, we are going to, uh, the information is given uh, and we Subtract the 166,470 um, uh, from uh, the amount uh, the amount that we are given for uh, 20, uh, 2022. So if you check uh, for 2022, uh, the amount that we have uh, for a resignation of benefits, I will start to see where do we have uh, uh, that resignation benefit we have it is two million two million eight hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred and thirty six so subtract one hundred and sixty six thousand four hundred and seventeen so on our calculation we are saying the two million eight hundred and thirty six thousand eight hundred and thirty six and then we subtract of course this two million is on this part and then we subtract the 166,417. So we calculate and see what we get. So if we subtract, you're going to get your answer as 2 million. Uh, 2,670,000. 670,419. So basically, this is uh, what we have on this part. So moving on to 2.1.3, uh, it is calculate the annual amount for the 8.2 that Aunt Louis will receive for the, the monthly pension to round, round off your answer to the nearest hundred for the potent. Uh, but of course, uh, we have to calculate the amount for the year 2022 uh, that Andrews will receive for the monthly pension. So monthly pay, we see that monthly pension is here. And uh, for the year 2022, we see that we have this figure that we have here, uh, which is 26,383. So on our calculation, uh, remember, it will need an annual figure uh, of which uh, we are given a monthly figure. So uh, we are simply going to say our 26,000 uh, 383 and then you multiply by 12 to get the annual so if you multiply by 12 we're going to get your answer is 
316,596. Yes, the annual figure. But of course, if you come back, you see that uh, you have to round off your answer to nearly 100, of which 100 is on this part uh, that we have here, of which we check the figure uh, that we have uh, behind, which we have a 9, uh, which is in the range 5 to 9, we change our, our 5, add, add 1 to our 5 to become 6. So your final answer becomes. We have the 16,600. So this is the rounded uh, final answer. So up uh, to that, we go to 2.4. Aunt Louis claimed that the lump sum uh, uh, gratuity a payable for 2022 is 10,715, more than the lump sum gratuity payable for 2021. We verify the answer. So uh, if we come on the gratuity part, we see that we have. Uh, we try to remove this. We see that uh, we have at the gratuity for 2022 is 919,363 runs. Then for 2021, runs. So, of course, we want to find the difference between the two and see uh, if it is uh, 15 more. So, as indicated in the question, 15 more. So with that, we calculate it. So uh, we are going to say our 919, uh, 19,363, then we subtract your 884,198. So we subtract and see what we get. You see that you are going to get your answer is 35,165, uh, which is equal to the figure that we are given here, which means this amount is not more than this one. It's actually equal to this one. So on our conclusion, uh, we are going to say the statement is invalid. So therefore, Uh, the statement is invalid. So uh, that's our comment on uh, the statement that we have. So um, for the last part, uh, give one advantage of an employee contributing towards the pension fund. So uh, what advantage can we put of contributing towards the pension fund? So you see that uh, it is a sign, it is a saving, uh, it, is, it is a saving for the future is one of the advantages. So we're saying one, it is uh, saving for the future. So remember the question only requires one point, but of course uh, we can also put uh, another point that um, one uh one gets income after returning so basically this is our way on this part so um this is what you guys according to this video uh, so thank you for listening and hopefully the video was helpful and please let's not forget to subscribe and share to our channel and share the link to our colleagues who are doing grade 11 and mathematical literacy.